Hi, this is me, Dave. Working on this uh, Chrysler 3000. It's got a beautiful Hemi in it. A uh, good friend of mine, he ended up wrecking it. So I am touching it up, fixing it up. All this here was all dented in. That was dented in. I had to pull everything out. You know, I had to do all the body work on that. But, uh, the fender was total lost. And the hood and this uh, front end was uh, smashed all up here on this side. So, I had to fix this. Everything. So, not only that, the whole car was smashed too. And the frame was bent in. So, I had to bend it back out to the best that I could and make it happen so plus I did some modifications in here that uh, maybe some people wouldn't do but I did it anyway just to make sure you know it's gonna get done you know you gotta cut the corners I mean you can't buy this you know buy that buy this buy that I mean it's so expensive man it's unbelievable you know they want an arm and six legs you know I only got two anyway I'm basically uh, right now hitting the base coat on the car. Uh, yesterday uh, I rented some complications because I did have pre-mix uh, base coat and I've never bought pre-mix before and uh, apparently they fucked up on the paint and uh, I had more paint than I had base and uh, it went down I, when I sprayed it, 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 it sprayed like really really hard so I, I had to come to a stop and uh, how to resand everything with a 400 and then bring it down to a, another grit and uh, you know I couldn't get it wet or nothing because you know this paint that was already on here from the old shit paint they gave me you know you can't you can't put any chemicals you can't put any water you can't put anything on it because it can have a chemical reaction you know so anyway uh, they gave me the paint for free and I was happy with that and uh, I brought them a sample and I showed them and they saw that it was their screw up so I uh, ended up getting the paint for basically free and I bought a few other things and uh, so far it, uh, it's coming out really well and uh, I will be clear coating it in the next 20-30 uh, minutes I'm letting it sit for a little while and uh, go over it real carefully because you know once you lay clear coat uh, it's a one time deal you can't turn around and go back so I gotta make sure everything's in uh, in order so I had a good friend of mine that used to enjoy doing this you know he does a lot of fishing so for right now uh, you know he's a little pissed off with me for whatever reason he has you know, and uh, if he wants to join me with this, it would be nice. You know, we have a good time doing this. But uh, I guess uh, he's a little pissed off or whatever how he feels. You know, and uh, I just wish that he would change his, uh, you know, feeling the way he does, man. Because you know, life is too short. You know, and uh, that bickery bullshit and whatever you know happened it's you know over and done with man just get over it you know and uh, I love him and everything you know and I just wish that uh, he could change uh, and, you know let it go anyway uh, I'm gonna be signing off I'll be back to let you know how the clear coat came out you know uh, this is called the Batcave uh, booth. All right, a friend of mine built this, and uh, I'm here at his house, so uh, you know, making it happen. So stay tuned, and I'll be back.